Today, I'll be going over how you can set up Thymeleaf so that you can work with static HTML files in your Spring application. So I'll go over how you can link CSS and Bootstrap, create your fragments and page layout. And lastly, I'm gonna go over how you can do a live reload in IntelliJ. And this is the summary of what I'll be going over in this video today. So feel free to pause the video and take the information you need. And of course, the first thing you want to do is come to Spring Initializer and create your project with your dependencies. And we are only going to be using Spring Web and Thymeleaf for this example. And I already have that installed and pulled up in IntelliJ. I'm using Java 16 for this demo. And when you pull your project up with Thymeleaf dependency added and open source main directory inside the resources directory you're going to see how you have the static and the templates directory and templates directory is where we add our html files so in here i'm going to add index.html file and just add an h1 tag saying this is a home page and in order to route our page i want to create a simple controller inside this package so create index controller i'm going to add an annotation saying it's a controller and public string home that returns index i'm going to add this annotation get mapping that routes to the root and one thing you have to note is that this name here has to match our name of the HTML file. And I think that's just how Thymeleaf works. So we have our index HTML routed to the root path. And let's start our application and see if that works. So my application is running on port 8080. And when I refresh the page, we can see how that's displayed properly. So our HTML file is working fine. The next thing we want to do is link CSS and Bootstrap. And we add CSS files in the static directory. So in here, I'm just going to create my main.css. And this is where you create your JavaScript files as well. So here, for the sake of this example, I'm going to add an index.js. Of course, usually we create directories for CSS and JavaScript. And I'm going to put my main.css inside the CSS directory, same for JavaScript. And inside my main.css, I am going to create a simple CSS, add the color to the h1 tag, and let's see if our CSS works. And of course, we have to add this link in the head. And this is a Thymeleaf syntax, th colon, and let's see if that's working. So when I refresh the page, now the h1 tag is blue and the link to CSS is working. Next thing we want to do is add a bootstrap, just like how we did for main.css. I'm going to call this bootstrap.min. And then I'm going to go to the bootstrap website, go to the download section scroll down to where you see the CDN. And of course you can just link it up like that, but an alternative way would be to copy this link right here, open that up, and I'm just gonna copy this entire thing and paste it here. Save that and add the link to the bootstrap file. So bootstrap.min.css. Save that and I'm going to stop and rerun the application.
So you see how our font has changed a little bit. And just to test this out, let's add a button with a class btn btn info saying click here, save and rerun. Let's open our page, refresh, and you see how our button is working. So we've added the bootstrap, and next thing we want to do is create our page layout, which would work as our base HTML. So here is a URL to a blog post that describes how you work with the layout page. And of course, I'm going to put that in the description box for your reference but we would just want to add this dependency here to our pom.xml to set up our pay, uh, page layout. So just paste that there, right click pom.xml and I'm going to reload the project. And inside the templates directory, I'm going to add an HTML file, call it layout. And in order to indicate that this is a layout page, we want to change our HTML tag. And of course, this is described in the blog post, and I'm going to put this in the description box as well. And create, not create, actually just um, add this wrapper. And inside our page layout, I want to add a header and say this is a header and a footer like this. And we would be inserting different HTML pages in this part called content. I'm going to save that layout page. And in order to create sub pages, Let's say we want to make our index.html as a subpage of this layout. Again, we want to change the HTML tag to this, indicating this HTML file will kind of decorate the layout page or something. In order to tell the application that this would be our subcontent, we would wrap everything around in this wrapper. So what's going to happen is that this content would be inserted into this layout fragment content inside the layout page. I right, let that reload and let's refresh the page. So as you can see our header is here and a footer and anything we add inside the index.html file would fall between this header and the footer. You already know how page layouts work, right? The last thing we want to do is apply this live reload in our IntelliJ. And in order to have that live reload functionality in our application, we have to add this dependency again. I'm just going to add this right here. Again, right click and reload the project. And there are two changes that you have to make. So go to IntelliJ Preferences, click on Build and Execution Deployment Compiler right here, and then tick Build Project Automatically here. Click Apply, and the other one you have to do is go to Advanced Settings and tick allow automake to start if you don't have this ticked already. Okay, click OK. And let's stop and rerun the first time. Refresh. All right, so this is what we have at the moment. What happens if we add content to index.html? So I'm going to add a p tag saying this is a new content save that and without stopping and rerunning my application it's a little laggy 
When I refresh the page, you see how it displays this is a new content. So now that you have the live reload, you don't have to stop and rerun every time you make the change to your project. So that marks the end of this tutorial. Thank you all for watching.